You're listening to WUJP 91.3 FM Jam Patty Radio, Hempstead, New York. By the time I was like 16 years old, uh, you know, in high school, you know, I was playing basketball. And, you know, when I think back, I think back to some of the people that I met uh, over the years. And one of the first people I met, um, you know, when my mom moved over on the north side, it was funny because we were moving around <laughs> quite a bit. And, um, you know, because I was living with her at the time, you know, during high school and everything. And, um, you know, we moved over to the north side on Ontario Street, and I met a gentleman actually going to the store. Um, and his name was uh, John Butch Phillip. and I had, you know, in common that we worked together on before and after, you know, I went to L.A., um, you know, and came back home was uh, Life Jennings. Believe it or not, we helped uh, develop him when he was a teenager. You know, uh, life came from, his name is Chester Jennings, and he came from a group called the Dotsons. And, you know, the funny thing about it, we met him through his cousin, his older cousin named Chris Dotson. And, you know, Chris Dotson was doing his solo thing, and then he put together his group, and then he brought in Jay, his cousin, and stuff like that. And, you know, Christopher, and, you know, so they became sort of like a new addition around <laughs> the Toledo area. Uh, when they were younger, so they were very hot when they were younger. Um, and but he stuck out the most. I mean, you know, as far as like the studio, he always wanted to write and produce, and you know, and everything. And you know, he gave us the biggest argument in the studio, me and Butch, all the time because he was the most passionate at the time about really writing and and you know producing and everything like that. He really wanted it his way. You know what I'm saying? And I knew right then that he was going to be somebody. Uh, that was going to be reckoned with in the in the force of the music industry uh, at a young age. I knew it, you know, and, and Butch knew it. Come on over here so everybody can see you. Now, Life, that's an interesting name, man. Where did it come from? Life. Creation of life. You know, everything I write about is right, just cool. instilled in life, you know, from lessons learned, you know. All right, that's cool. Where you from, man? From Ohio. So what you going to do for us tonight? All right. So what you going to do for us tonight, man? We do this original piece called... Uh, called cry. All right, do your thing. Y'all give it up for life. Oh. 
for so long, still holding on. I figure can't be nothing all that wrong with crying. If, if anybody says that that's strong, they're lying. She crying is like taking your soul to the laundry mat. It's like the feeling that you get when you see your grandmama smile. All the heavens open up and blessings rain down. Go on, child, and cry. Go on and cry. We took the time, um, you know, of course, with the with the family and, um, you know, his mom was very supportive, Miss Dodson, and uh, she would always let us rehearse down in the basement and everything and come over, eat up all her food, <laughs> like most groups do, most young men do. And, you know, like I said, you know, it was uh, one of those things that kept us out of trouble. You know, it really did. It kept us out of trouble. And, you know, we came from pretty good backgrounds all of us and so the thing about it is is that um, you know when you get down out there trying to promote yourself you start to realize things about the community about yourself and how to perpetuate uh, getting to that